thank you very much. I'm really glad uh, to be participating on this program, though virtually. My desire was to be with you physically, but unfortunately, circumstances could not allow. Equity Group operates in uh, six countries, Kenya, South Sudan, Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, and DRC. A legion with significant population of refugees. And in some camps like Kakuma and Dadaab, these refugees have existed for over 30, 40 years. So they have become part and parcel of our society. Equity is partnering with UNHCR on the basis of our purpose of giving dignity, changing lives, and supporting efforts to wealth creation. And we realized the surest way of integrating our refugees with host communities is to build programs for them beyond the social safety net payments. We have been able to process safety net payments of up to 220 million US dollars to over 1 million refugees in the five countries. But we realized for sustainability and to support the three plant uh, initiative of either repatriating refugees uh, back to their countries, helping them to settle in the host countries, or to find alternative homes in other countries, we could make significant contribution as a private sector. The issue of refugees is too big to be left to governments and UN agencies. For equity group, we chose to incorporate refugees into our banking activities, provide them savings, provide them payments, provide them loans, and uh, enhance their capacity through financial training and entrepreneurship. We have worked closely with the UNHCR to establish mechanisms, one of recognition of refugees by the host countries so that we can have appropriate documentation. We have used biometric capabilities for identifying them. We have worked very closely with IFC to provide us with the credit risk sharing guarantees and that has enabled us to use the cash flows of social payments to provide loans uh, to refugees. And this has enabled them to settle and integrate within the host communities by embracing the economic activities of the host communities. In addition to that, Equity Group Foundation, with the support of UNHCR, we have been able to provide scholarships to refugee children in the camps for their secondary education. This year, we are targeting 3,600 scholarships, totaling 6,000 scholarships uh, for refugees and another 4,000 scholarships for host communities. And we have seen 250 of our agents in refugee camps owned by refugees. And that truly gives them a sense of taking a long-term view of life. Integration in economic activities gives them a mechanism of earning a decent uh, life without being dependent on the philanthropists. Programs like access to education would make sure that the next generation of children of refugees are better integrated in society and are more mobile in search of opportunities because of empowerment of education. Access to health will be central, and I'm glad Equity Bank has been able to set an equity affair in Kakuma a refugee camps to ensure the provision of quality, affordable health services to refugees. The ability to use safety net payments as a cash flow to provide loans to refugees scales the funding available to refugees. The ability to use credit risk sharing guarantees from partners like IFC allows the quota of loan to increase substantially and that then becomes a mechanism of integration. On account of our purpose uh, of giving dignity and uh, changing lives, and expanding opportunities for people and championing the UN Sustainable Development Goals. 
across partners. Equity has been recognized with the Oslo Business for Peace Award. And we are very grateful that this effort has been acknowledged because it has given us the gravitas to mobilize more partners. It has brought credibility to our efforts in providing solutions to both the host communities to become better hosts and to the refugees also that they can better integrate with the host communities. These efforts require UNHCR being supported both by the private sector, national governments, financial institutions, philanthropists, because of the scale of the challenge. When you look at uh, the responsibility UNHCR has globally, it is refugees who exceed 100 million people to ensure we win them out of their status by providing things like education, but education back to their countries. Ours is an initiative we hope will inspire others to come into the support of UNHCR to achieve the objective of settling refugees. Normalizing the lives of refugees, we must adequately provide them with economic opportunities. And there is no better economic opportunities than those provided by the lead economy. Agriculture, business, trade. The African and Recovery Resilient Plan focuses on creating opportunities for small micro enterprises, formalizing them, placing them in the value chains of the former sector so that uh, they become sustainable and can scale. And it's this initiative that we have seen an opportunity to involve refugees so that uh, they also significantly contribute to business and to recover from the adverse effect uh, that COVID have had of disrupting lives. So for them to build their lives better, we are providing them with facilities that uh, enable them to engage in business economic activities, eco living, but more importantly, build the local economies and be integrated with the host communities. Partnerships and collaborations with UNHCR providing leadership will be able to ease the challenges that refugees go through and help us as a world to find a solution for refugees. For you, the delegates assembled in Accra, we have a huge opportunity to change the way we deal with the refugees. Innovative ways, innovative mechanisms, and innovative solutions will help us to scale the opportunities for forcibly displaced persons, whether as refugees or internally displaced persons.